many times are you going to do this intro? Hey guys, welcome back to Pipe Dreams Unleashed. Today, we're going to be replacing this old worn out 200,000 mile U-joint with a brand new one from Spicer. Well, the first thing that we're going to do is chalk the truck by putting this garden edging brick in front of the tire and then putting it in neutral to make sure that all the weight is off the drive shaft and onto that brick. little addition to the video there so the u-joint that we're using is going to be this 5-793x so this has a solid cap to go into the drive shaft and then it's got this one that's grooved to go into the yoke for the rear end before we open this hardware packaging I'm gonna go ahead and take the u-joint down under the truck and make sure that that's the right one. When I went in and talked to my parts professional, they were like, yeah, there's like hundreds or thousands of options for these trucks, which I, I agree with because I try to shop for them. Um, and yeah, it's, it's out of control. How many different parts and how many different variations for different models we got. So this is the one that we're gonna try out today. Now that we've got all the weight off of the drive shaft, we're gonna go ahead and remove these four bolts. There's two on this side, two on the other side, and take that U-joint out. So I'm using a 7 16 ratchet style box in wrench. Yes, in case you're curious, there's a big old dent in my drive shaft. Now I'm coming through, I'm unscrewing this on the top, the rest of the way by hand. I'm trying to find a comfortable way to sit up under the truck. I've already done the other side so what I'm just doing is getting it to where I can flip it down and I'm coming here I have a, a long flathead pry bar screwdriver so I'm going up underneath until it's free it slips into the transmission up front and now I can get it free so while I'm down here, I'm going to take the new one I got, I'm going to test fit it. So I'm going to take the groove side and try it out in here. That looks like it fits pretty good. Now let's just damage it real quick. Me pulling the drive shaft out for the transmission. Give it a little wiggle. Fight it all the way, coming out when you get close to the end, apparently. Come on now. There it goes. Now we're free. So we're just gonna slip a ride on out the back over the cross member. The one way I can tell that this guy's bad is when you move it around, it's got a little click, 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 click to it. Maybe if I can hold it still. It definitely grinds. So when I get these off, I'll show y'all what that looks like inside the cap. First thing we need to do is take these little clips out. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go ahead and damage this a little bit more. There we go. What you're hunting for is to slide everything this way and then take this cap out so when you get it out far enough it just pops out and then you slide this cap and everything the other way and then this will come free you can get it up out of there you can basically take it and pop it to the side and it comes out that way and then you can get this cap out from the side but we don't exactly have what you call a press so what i'm going to use is a seat clamp I'm gonna use this is a modified one and a quarter socket for tight spaces to where the cap will go down into that but I got something to clamp against and then I'm using this 18 millimeter 
to push against the cap. There's another way that you can tell that it's just shot. Here's the good side. There's the side that is just garbage. So I did replace the one on the front yoke. As you can see, it moves freely. Get some light on her. That's how it's supposed to look right there. A little dirty because, you know, my truck leaks. But we're getting there one step at a time. So I'm going to put pressure on that, turn it around where I'm using the back face. These are pretty awesome because you can just push it in, put tension on it. That was a super fail. Here we go. That doesn't seem to want to work. I'm going to go with a smaller socket. Brief intermission. Right, we're back. We're going to be using a 1 and 1 8. It barely slips over the cap. So it seems like a good enough fit to me. So I think what I'm going to start out by doing is I'm going to go ahead and get this cap up to the surface just using the socket. And then we'll put the other socket on the other side. And rock and roll from there. So I found if you actually put some penetrating oil on both of the caps, it'll help it slide back and forth, but I had a pretty rough go with it. I even switched out C-clamps hoping that would help, and I ended up damaging one of them. Yeah, all it took was just a little bit of WD-40, working it back and forth, and it came right out. Like, I struggled with this for a good 30 minutes. I'm kind of using both hands on I bent this handle good. But I don't think I'm out that much money on that clamp, so... I'm not too worried about it. Got some of the old slip promoter here. I'll soak her down. Yeah, now we're moving. All right, that's what I'm talking about. I want you get her with the old slip and slide in a can. Come right out. Hit it with a little mobile parts walker. Come right out. Just like that. It's easy. Easy peasy. Can I get it out? sure you're not supposed to but yeah this is where the rollers were digging in see how everything else is nice and smooth this is the one that failed all right so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and clean this guy out and try to make it as good of a surface to be able to slide these caps back through as we can what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this little pick I'm gonna go around in these little edges here I'm going to try to get it to where that snap ring doesn't have any issues going back in the hole. There's really no good lighting I can get for you guys right now. There we go. 
That's halfway decent. So I'm gonna hit it with the WD. Just kind of try to follow the curve around and get all that crap out right there. So now we got her looking halfway decent. That snap ring will be able to go back in there with no issues, no dirt and grunge holding it back. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. Try to get rid of some of these burrs and clean the surface up so that way we don't have any issues when we put the new one back in because I'm feeling some burrs right here. This camera just does not like focusing. There we go. So I'm gonna try to get rid of some of that. I'll show you guys the finished product because I'm sure it's going to take a minute. All right. Now we're on to part two. We're going to get this U-joint in here. Clean it up just a little bit. I couldn't get some of these big Mars out of here because I don't exactly know how to reach down in there. Luckily, this guy is some kind of aluminum, so I was just able to pretty much use sandpaper to clean it up. But now I don't have to worry about working around here and getting burrs and stuff all in my skin. So, ooh, thin me. That's creepy. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and kind of lube this guy up with the old blue and yellow and then we're gonna take our new u-joint here so this is the the part that goes in like this this goes into the rear end so we're gonna take the caps off that get pressed in carefully place them to the side so I'm checking to make sure it's got a good grease in it and that all of the rollers are up against the wall. But there you go. You might be able to see them pretty good right there. But what we're going to do is we're going to stick them in each side. Stick this down into the center here. And press it all together. Can you all even see that? I got to double check. No, you can't. All right. I don't know how to put that on autofocus, but... Camera's a lot smarter than I am. Oh, I don't like that sound. Oh, oh, man. I think I just damaged it. Shoot. Well, I took the cap off of it. Everything looks good. I'm just imagining it's the little lips on these seal here. It's like a hard plastic. Boy, I panicked because uh, I heard that little crackling noise. I'm trying to keep her all in focus here. But. The caps all look good, so we're going to keep on the way we're going. That just, that got me startled a little bit. Oh, look at that, the, the top comes out. I wonder where that went. That actually works out all right. I just hate that sound. All right, so I'm gonna put it in a little bit, back her out, or back, back, back uh, the clamp out. Man, that sound bothers me because it feels like it's the rollers snapping. Oh, goodness. All right. So we're going in a little bit at a time. Taking her in and checking to see if we've gotten to where we can pop that snap ring down in there. And then when we get done with this side, we're going to do the other side. We are past the snap ring groove.
Oh, how about we be a little more cautious? Because definitely, that's the deal. Okay. Okay. So, I'm gonna grab that. Alright, we're gonna hope that stays. We're gonna keep these other ones though, just in case it don't. We'll check on it here in a week. On to the next part. So here, we're going to put these little clips in. Maybe. There we go. proven to be a lot more challenging since I'm putting so much thought into my angles here there we go all right I feel like that's supposed to be a lot looser and it probably is I don't know we'll see all right let's put it back in the truck Camera's gonna die, so I'm trying to work fast to get you guys the best angles possible. And drop the drive shaft a few more times. So we're gonna slip her through over this cross member here, slam her into everything, and we're gonna move up there real quick. But you guys can see just how demolished my junk is. I'm fairly certain this seal is trash because it leaks fluid. So I'm just gonna walk her up here, introduce it, say hey. Try to find a home for the splines. Get up out of there. Try to find a happy place. My goodness. There we go. Got our shiny new stuff. Leaking old stuff. I'm sure that rear end is leaking really good. There goes the parts washer in a can. Mobile parts washer. We're going to get after that real quick. Spray her down some. Just try to clean some of that crap up. Yeah. At least where I got to work. Bring her back around. That is not bueno. Alright, let me go throw the truck in neutral. Well, the camera died. So I got you on the mobile juice maker now. So, while uh, while I was waiting on it to build up a little bit of a charge, I, I put it in neutral, rotated the shaft to be able to seat down in there, and then pretty much charged you up, put all my tools up, and now we're back. So, we're going to come over here, flip these guys around. Urgh. Take some of the play out of it so that way it don't go for. Because I'm laying on my side trying to do this.
it's got a good torque on it so I got all four of these bolts done up it's about all the movement I got uh, let me go see if I can get y'all some side to side clips here before and after torquing Let's take her for a test drive. The biggest thing right here that I was noticing was when you would change from reverse to forward or drive, uh, that'd be a big clunk clunk. That's reverse. Quiet. All right, let's take it out on the road. All right. So I got some brake squeak, but that'll probably be coming up here. I'm not hearing anything that I was hearing before. A lot of that is my front end talking because it's all bent up. But yeah, with that other U joint, it would get to chattering bad. It'd make all kinds of cool noises and stuff, screeching. Taught me to drive a lot more cautiously because right now I use my pickup to make money. You know, it's basically how we're paying bills and so you can imagine a u-joint going out making all kinds of noise a didn't sound good for customer satisfaction and b well it scared me because i need this thing right now she's hurting uh i might go ahead and do you guys a quick walk around here when we get done but i promised on the pipe dreams customs channel that uh we we're gonna do a lot more automotive work over here. I got a lot of different ideas for what I want to do, but usually what I found is you either have the time to get it done and no money, or you got the money to get it done with no time. So you guys, that's going to do it today for Pipe Dreams Unleashed. Thank you for helping me work on the truck today. I think I just might go ahead and shoot that walk around. So you guys stay tuned. I'm going to talk about the pickup a little bit and share some ideas with you on what we got coming up. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe to help support the channel Bring you more content so that way people who don't know how to do this kind of stuff can learn It may not be the right way, but we're getting it done All right, we'll see y'all later